Yeah, madam. Yes, yes. <coughs> good morning, good morning, madam. Yes, good morning, Manoji. Good yeah. morning, good morning. Yeah. Very, yeah, yeah, okay, madam. Very sorry. Actually, I one phone, urgent phone came, I, and I was in phone. That's why I... Are, no, 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 not an issue. Not an issue. No problem. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Just, just, madam. Yeah, I'm uh, very happy to see you after a long time. Yeah, welcome, madam. I am also yeah. very happy to see. Uh, आपका congratulations आपको सबसे पहले तो आपका professorship का हो गया. So <laughs> thank you, uh, thank you, madam. Thank you. जी जी बिल्कुल बिल्कुल. Okay, madam. I think 40, 42 participants are there. Let uh, we start the session. Okay. जैसे आप जैसे आप चाहें हाँ जी हाँ जी. So uh, dear participant, good morning each and everyone. Uh, today morning session we are going to start. A very stalwart uh, academician, uh, Professor Sangeeta Gupta. Madam Sangeeta Gupta is a professor in Department of Library Information Science and uh, University of Jammu, Jammu, and presently holding the position of the uh, Dean School of Social Sciences, uh, Jammu University. Very senior professor involving in many academic activities of the uh, Many expert committee, UGC committee, NAC committee, and uh, a very active library science uh, professional. For me, Madam, is a good model uh, to whom we follow during our student life. Uh, um, we listen, Madam, uh, since 2000 when we are a student. So uh, today morning, we are going to start our session with uh, such an eminent uh, uh, professor. Uh, I hope this session will be very informative and interactive with uh, uh, all the, to the all the participants. So, with this small introduction, Madam, I welcome you in uh, and I pay my sincere thanks uh, on behalf of the HRDC Mizoram University. Uh, you are very busy nowadays, and uh, even many times it is difficult to get the time for you uh, to you for the selection committee and other. But even then. Because of your love and affection towards me, you accept my invitation to share your um, uh, rich knowledge with our participant. So thank you so much, Madam. With me, Professor Bhatendu Singh is there. He is a co-coordinator of this program and uh, basically belongs to the commerce faculty. And Sir Bhatendu is also from the Banaras only. So we are a uh, close friend. So that's why all our programs are, uh, we are mm -hmm. organizing together. So with this, Madam, I handing uh, I welcome you and handing over the session to you for your presentation, Madam. Thank you, Thank you Professor Manoj Kumar Verma and Professor Bhat Hindu Singh. I'm really I'm really beholden with the words, with the introduction you have given uh, uh, given during this session. So uh, firstly, I'm thankful to the HRDC Mizoram University and uh, particularly Professor Manoj Verma and Bhat Hindu Singh who has given me this opportunity. Basically, you are right today. Nowadays, uh, my schedule is very busy. <laughs> but I always love to talk to the professional colleagues and the young colleagues because you always remain young when you talk, when you, when you I mean, talk with the young people and you interact with the young people. Because here in the faculty development program, all are the faculty members and we learn so many things from them also when we talk, when we deliver something, when we talk something, when we interact with them. So thank you very much. Uh, as a professor uh, Verma uh, asked me to deliver a lecture on any topic, which is, I mean, general for all the faculty members. So I just thought uh, to talk. So I, I just uh, uh, selected the topic for because everybody is nowadays that is a, you, you need to publish your research, you need to publish the material. So I will like, okay, first let me, let me share, share this. Just a minute. Uh, share screen. Then. Share screen. Can you see now? Yeah, madam. You, yes, uh, excuse me. Yeah, it is visible. Okay. You can see now? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just a minute. Can I, I uh, video may start? Yes. Okay. So uh, I will be talking today about this, uh, uh, you know, I actually need to. Uh, yes, I will be talking today on these academic uh, qualitative research publications because uh, uh, you know that uh, uh, we are living in this age when uh, the goal of science is to increase you know, the man's um, kind knowledge and uh, uh, academic publishing is a subfield. 
it is a sub field of uh, uh, publishing uh, which distributes uh, academic research uh, for the welfare of the i mean society for the welfare of the human being <coughs> just a minute ja ek minute mere ko thoda pani just a minute mere ko uh, sure, i need sure. some water actually just So friends, uh, just wait for. Oh, yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry for. Uh, I mean, <laughs> sorry for uh, uh, keeping you waiting. Okay. okay, so I will be talking about the academic publishing. As uh, everybody knows that uh, uh, we are engaged in this academic uh, uh, publishing, and uh, uh, we need to publish the material in the good journals. And because these academic journals, they are the archives into which the knowledge puts, so that everyone in the entire world can find it. so this is a, uh, this is the age where the publication gives you the scientific visibility and the recognition in your area of research and writing your work helps you to remember understand and gain a different perspective so publishing your work will gain you the personal satisfaction of sharing your work with others contribution of the community you belong to and moreover it helps to exchange the ideas can you see the screen also or not uh we are seeing first yes. slide okay yeah 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 you're yeah, so, now changing yes, yes. yeah 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 right. so so we need to publish there was one professor of uh, uh, sociology he said that the ultimatum is well known to the academic that is either publish or perish so you need to publish the original research or you have the risk of damaging your publication so the phrase publish or perish dates all the way back in 1942 when the sociologist named logan wilson he used it in a book studying academia as a career and at the time he described this credo as a prevailing pragmatism to forced upon the academic group not only the academics must publish research to remain relevant but doing so is also a requirement because you need the key performance it is a key performance indicators at many universities because you need the publications only then you will get the get the i mean uh, this uh, promotion so why why do we need to publish because you need to share our findings we need to share the discoveries with the hope of improving the knowledge base and practically sometimes you know you get the funding you get the promotion you get the recognition and for sharing your uh, knowledge for sharing your achievements everybody wants to publish the material then uh, uh, you are you are rated by what you produce not by what you attempt so whatever you plan whatever you think okay ki i need i i have this idea i i i want to publish it so if it comes into practice only i mean implement it only only then uh, it is it is worth you just make the attempt and you are not able to publish then it has no value so that means you are rated by what you exactly produce what you exactly publish okay not only by the attempt But the question is that where to publish, how to publish, in which journals 
we need to publish because nowadays so many predatory journals are there and you know sometimes we are really 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 confused where to publish it so you can see here the uh, predatory journals and you all of you i have your uh, email ids every second day you just receive you know uh, receive the mail and just i have given one example that is and dear dr abc greetings from the journals uh, uh, of so so and so we have grown through your publication and your publication is so and very nice it is gaining a good re readership we are privileged to invite eminent authors like you so they just like they just i mean intend to pamper you so that you are allowed by these you know their words and by their mails and you you, you, you publish their paper in that and again after some time uh, uh, they will again you know uh, send you the mail that hope i am not irritating you with my mail i feel sorry for the inconvenience i am so and so working here and so and so so they again i mean they try to uh, uh they try to uh, motivate i mean not the word motivate exactly they try to lure you they try to uh justify that okay this is a very good journal and you are a very good author that is why we are asking you to publish your paper but you have to be very very cautious where to get the paper published where to write where to uh, do it because uh, there are so many journals nowadays there are predatory journals the thing is what are these predatory journals it's very i mean uh, simple uh, definition of predatory journals i am just giving here that is the entities which prioritize self interest at the expense of scholarships and are characterized by false or misleading information derivation from best editorial and publication practices lack of transparency or use of aggressive and this indiscriminate solicitation practices so the quality of research this is an important factor which determines the success but the qualitative aspect of research that is that has been diluted nowadays okay it has been diluted nowadays by these predatory journal words which compromise the quality and their main objective is their main objective is uh, to earn the money so they have created a parallel pseudo word they have created a parallel pseudo academic word which is known as predatory word predatory journals they are producing so when we see these journals see these mails from time to time we should ignore it okay we have to just firstly identify we have to uh, i mean see what, what which particular journal is okay whether it is a i mean high impact journal whether it is peer reviewed journal whether it is a quality journal or not so there are lot of uh, predatory journals if you can see here i have shown this slide to you if you see here so there are lot of uh, predatory journals like this and uh, you can see the i mean the this predatory journals they are increasing day by day because uh, so many publishers uh, they they want to earn the profit and they will uh, allure you again and again that it will not take some any time they will immediately publish your paper so and and the, the sometimes the new authors even sometimes the old authors there are senior authors they also get in, entrapped into it so i have just given this uh, slide if you can see here Uh, more than twelve twelve thousand predatory journals, which is which the, the, uh, has been given by this according to John Bell. There are so many. There may be more than that. Is just I'm giving this uh, uh, data given by the John Bell. Yeah, see here. So this distribution of publishers uh, by geographic region. You can see here in South America, middle caste Australia, then in uh, Asia without India, and then in India. Mm -hmm. uh then north america then europe then africa see here this is the data and here it is the distribution of corresponding authors by the geographic region if you can see india uh, near about 34.7% only in india they are contributing to this predatory journal words predatory word predatory word so imagine that what is the status so we are here you can see in australia 1.5% uh south africa it is 2.3% then europe it is 8.8% then north america 9% about and then africa about this and asia without india that is 25.6% so if you just i mean see this uh, data we can see that that in india and then in asia more and more 
predatory literature is being published. So see here, uh, see the predatory word, you can just imagine from this uh, slide, okay, see. Because it is always easy, you know? it is very easy to get, the, get your publication, get your material published in the predatory journal, because it's a very easy to waste. You can see here, we, uh, they are uh, this putting the carpet before you just like that. Okay? That is, we adore your research. And we, they give the credit to our research and they will say, okay, you are most welcome. Your research is good and good. You know? But as far as the peer review, the high impact journals, the good journals are concerned, sometimes it may take one year, sometimes it may take eight months, sometimes it may take I mean, more than that. And they are peer reviewed, some, they are, some are blind peer reviewed. And uh, a uh, lot of time, I mean, their revisions are there, reje even rejections are there. So to avoid these, you know, revisions and interactions, sometimes we uh, get entrapped into these predatory journals because in predatory journals, you uh, need not to, I mean, do much efforts. Just, uh, I mean, submit your paper and uh, immediately after one month or two months, your paper is published. So the signs, uh, how, but the question is that uh, uh, how, you will, uh, I mean, identify. How will you will find that uh, that the that the journal is, uh, I mean, this uh, particular journal is a predatory journal. That is the question. How to how to identify? So I have given just, uh, uh, I mean, uh, points where you can. These are not, I mean, totally. Uh, uh, you can say, okay, these are the points only. No, there are some points on the basis of that there is some intuition also. You are your, uh, I mean, judgment also, your uh, uh, intuition, your judgment, your uh, uh, reasoning, you can judge just so many things. But some general points, common points, on the basis of that, you know, you can judge that whether it is a predatory journal or not. Because in sing, in the predatory, in, in the, uh, I mean, good journal, there is no single individual. In no single individual is identified as the journal's editor. Okay, then, the journal does not identify a formal editorial reward. If there is a uh, single individual, uh, if there is no single individual, I mean, there are so many journal editors, then there is, there is a doubt that it may be predatory journal. If there is a, not a formal editorial board or review board, again, there are chances that it is a predatory journal. Then the editor or board members, if they you know, do not, uh, do not uh, possess academic uh, expertise to qualify them to be publication gatekeepers in the journal field. Then again, it raises your eyebrows that, okay, it may be a predatory journal. Then no academic information is provided. If you just go to the site of that particular uh, journal, you will find that there is no academic information is provided exactly regarding the editor, regarding the editorial staff, regarding the review board members, so and so. So in that case also, you can just, uh, I mean, you need to go into the depth of that particular journal to find out all the information. Then uh, if we, two or more journals, you know, they have the uh, duplicate editorial boards, that is the same editorial board for more than one journal. Again, it, it may be a, a matter of, you know, um, thinking that, that it is a journal or no, whether it is a predatory journal or a this journal. Because, and in, in while, while any in publication, while uh, you, in a journal, there is an editor-in-chief, then there is author, then there is a reviewer, then there is publisher, then associate editor, then editorial board member. So this is a team, team who, uh, which constitutes a particular journal, which is uh, publishing a particular journal. So with, when there is a particular team, so you need to go through in the, into that properly, that who are the members, who are, what is, who's the editor and so. So then, then if there is a, I mean, um, if you're just uh, identifying whether it is a predatory journal or not, then uh, it you will find that the, there is a, if there is a lack of transparency in publishing transparency operation, then, you, then again, it's a matter of, uh, I mean, doubt there. Then if it has no policy or practices for digi digital preservation. Okay, there are so many points. I mean, I have already told you, there is no exactly the, uh, uh, black and white things okay this is the, this if this is there this is that no there are so many points there are so many things which you need to take care of okay then the publisher if he has poorly maintained websites uh, sometimes uh, dead links 
then misspellings, then grammatical errors on the website. Again, it is a matter of uh, I mean doubt that whether it is a predicted general mode. And sometimes, you know, nowadays, IES session is a very, very basic thing. Anybody can take it very easily. So if a publisher is, I mean, uh, promoting these things, uh, is publicizing these things, oh, we have the IES uh, and we, uh, he has the misleading metrics also as a sign of quality. Again, then it is a matter of doubt. Then if it provides insufficient information on the website or uh, it hides information, uh, I mean, there is no clear cut policy. There is no transparency, okay? The, about the author fee, uh, offering to publish an author's paper or letter sending a previously undisclosed invoice, anything. I mean, when it is not clearly mentioned and there is a, uh, not, no transparency, so then you need to, I mean, find out. So. Okay. You know, sometimes there is a very confusing name. You know? Just say Journal of Economics and Finance is a very reputable journal. I management ke, uh, Dr. Singh baithe hoi pe. Journal of Economics and Finance is a very reputable journal. Sometimes, he just, I mean, to trap, you know, the uh, young authors, they keep the name of their journal as Journal of Finance and Economics. And sometimes you take it as Journal of Economics and Finance. So Journal of Economics and Finance is fine. It is a peer reviewed journal, but they, they keep their journal name as Journal of Finance and Economics so that you are easily uh, trapped in that. Okay, this is a very good journal. So you have to be very careful in that. So name of the journal is unrelated with the journal's mission. You know, sometimes uh, you, you publish a particular type of uh, uh, I mean, uh, articles, uh, the theme is this and this. Your journal ka name hai or your journal ka mission hai, theme hai, if it is not matching, if it is mismatched, again, it is a matter of doubt. And sometimes, you know, the publisher sends spam requests to the peer reviews uh, to scholars, unqualified, to review submitted manuscripts also. And he asks the corresponding authors also to, you, okay, you just suggest the reviewers and publishers subsequently. And he again uses the same suggested reviewers again, again, without, I mean, vetting their qualification and without vetting their authenticity. I mean, who are they, what are they? So in that case also, you, can, you need to be very, very careful. So the question is that, uh, uh, I mean, the question here comes the integrity. Uh, the, uh, then, okay. Uh, sometimes uh, uh, a leading publisher, they use the language leading publisher, even though it's a very new organization. I mean, uh, he had just uh, started the publication, and but he he poses as if as if there is a I mean he is a very uh, old publisher and he has uh, he is in this field for the last so many uh, years. So uh, if they do minimum or no copy editing, if you, are, you you send the paper, I have seen so many papers, even in uh, I will not name here, so many papers, so many I mean association papers, and when we just go through it when we just read the paper in that particular proceeding or relating so many mistakes so many grammatical mistakes so that means there is no editing has been done okay so you need to see firstly you need to if you are going to publish any paper in a particular journal uh, try to read so you try to read some papers in that journal so that you can just get the idea that what is the level of that particular journal what type of papers are publishing whether these papers are of high quality or not. You know, whether these, whether who are going to publish, who are publishing the papers in that particular journal, whether these are, I mean, um, uh, uh, reputed authors are published their paper or not. So, so many things are there, okay? So you need to see everything before deciding because it is your research, it is your hard work, it is your, it is your hard labor. You have devoted so much time Okay, so if you publish the paper in just, I mean, any predatory journal, and so that means you are going to lose it. There is no visibility, there is no citation in that way. And uh, that, you know, that, uh, I mean, you, you may not have, uh, you may not uh, get the, I mean, uh, promotional benefit also, okay, because in uh, promotion cases, we need to publish some material sometimes in high impact factor journals or peer reviewed journals. So, so many things are there. So that is why uh, this is very, very important aspect. Uh, now here comes the question of integrity. Integrity of whom? As I told you, actually, your slide may last me. Integrity may can integrity may authors, hai, publishers, hai, editor, hai, joint editor, hai, all are involved. 
So it is the integrity of all. As an author, I have the integrity. I need to see. Sometimes, you know, sometimes, uh, sometimes uh, you are, uh, if you have done something wrong, it is not trapped. But you know it very well. As an author, I know it, what I have done. It is not captured. It, you are not caught. But you know it, okay, that, uh, okay, I have written this paper. This is this particular area, this particular information, this particular lines you have taken from somewhere or whatever. So if you know it, I mean, if you have written the paper, you know everything. So this is the integrity of the author. You have to see it. Okay. Uh, suppose you are submitting the paper, but the editing team, but the reviewers, they are not able to catch it. Okay. They just approve it. Still, it is your duty. You have to show your integrity. Okay. As the author, what I have done. So you need to give the credit to whatever. You need to cite. You need to give the credit to others. Likewise, the publisher, he he must have the uh, integrity. Because integrity may, you know, you uh, references given or not given. Standard expectations, your research ethics, you have not followed or not. So you, apko, you need to set an example for others, especially, you know, the next generation uh, who may learn from their peers, may learn from the seniors, learn from their advisors. Okay, so this is very, very important aspects. Now the question is, uh, how, as I told you, there are so many factors. Hai na? Uh, aapka journal ka naam kya hai? Aapka kaise usko publish ho rahe hai? Usme review ho rahe hai ki nahi ho rahe hai? So many things are there. Then impact factor kya hai? Ab impact factor mein, um, you must be knowing. I have given this example that is global impact factor, ICV or SJRF, scientific uh, uh, impact factors, so many impact factors, so many institutions, so many organizations, they have, uh, you know, um, developed this concept that is global impact factor. So is global impact factor, is it justified if you just publish the material on the basis of this global impact factor? Because this global impact factor, this provides a qualitative and quantitative as on this web, their website for ranking, evaluating, and categorizing the journals for academic evaluation and excellence. See the, I mean, on, the, on their website, this is a journal, International Journal of Core Engineering and Management. ISSN is there, no doubt about it. So this sector is used for evaluating the prestige of journals. The evaluation is carried out by counts considering the factors like peer review, originality, scientific quality, technical editing quality, editorial quality, and regularity. On this basis, you know, they are just um, publishing the journals and they are they are calculating the impact factor. I will tell you how. So this is the uh, see this journal that is 0 0.543 and then you can see here so many journal advanced science index factor this uh, info based journal index impact factor this. So but okay. So what is the criteria? What is the evaluation method they are they are taking? They are calculating this uh, global impact factor per year on the basis of 100 points. 100 points, contribution scale, and on number of articles published during an article are selecting from each issue and their quality is just. This is what they have given on their website. So you can see here, what are the parameters? The parameters are originality contribution 50%, scientific quality contribution 20%, review process contribution 20%, regularity and stability contribution 5%, Technical editing quality contribution five. Then total quality contribution factor, this OC, SQC, RPC, RSC, TEKOC, and mean all these five factors. So do you think is it, it is a genuine method of you know calculating the impact factor? So no. So when you just select the, I mean, select your journal for uh, getting your paper, getting your research published. So you need to see which what, what impact factor that is only by the clarivates. And all others are fake. No, I mean, there is no recognition of that. They are not acknowledged. Even some universities, they totally ignore it. And we should, they are just, just take care of the graduate. Okay. So see here, um, some of, uh, I mean, sometimes the, the new, uh, no, new authors, they just, I mean, publish the material in, in these types of journals. See here, SGIF, seven. Periodic research, seven. Shrinkla, ek, shodh, parak, so and so. So that means, all these, this is an interpret. What is written on their website? It is an international, inter sorry, interdisciplinary, international, interdisciplinary peer-reviewed research journal. But is it so? 
are you getting going to get it get your paper published in this if you are going to get your published get your paper published in this but this type of particular journals no use no use better publish one paper in two years instead of getting five paper in one year okay we take one year it may take two years but try to get good publication in good papers because it has no value it has no use we are just creating the numbers five papers seven paper eight paper nine paper but none has the relevance so you need to publish your paper which has genuinely which has genuinely impact factor which is calculated by the you know this uh, clarivate Okay, so all other impact factors, like as I told you, that is global impact factor, universal impact factor, the scientific general impact factor. It's, it looks very, it looks very, very high. You think, oh, this is, this paper has early, you know, uh, say, ten years ago, fifteen years ago, when we were new, I was, we were new. We used to think, okay, this paper, this paper, I mean, impact factor seven, hai, hai na? but this has no value. It is just fake, no need. Okay. So you need to be very particular about it when you just search. If you are if you are publishing, I mean, your paper on the basis of impact impact factor, you need to see what what which impact factor, whether it is being calculated genuinely, which impact factor. So impact factor in case of only this, clarify. So we have to publish. So it submit your work to the journals that would normally find interesting and relevant. Definitely, है ना ये आपको कहाँ publish करना है जो relevant or interesting हो. So reach out to the colleagues and your mentors. You can, you know, if you are new to this profession, some of you because you are doing this. Uh, I mean, faculty uh, FIP, uh, you may be, you might have joined the this profession uh, recently. So you can talk to your colleagues. You can talk to your mentors for the suggestion of the journals that where your work will fit best. So engage your university librarian. to find legitimate impact factors and genuine journals if you i mean library professional librarians um, from your university or from your institutions can help you in that way so you need to be very very honest about the methodological flaws in your own work as i told you earlier also so reviewers may 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 fail to see the limitations it's not necessary that okay uh, if it has been clearly approved by the reviewer it's okay sometimes but you as a as a author you know you are a honest uh, person you are a i mean uh, in this teaching profession okay you have to show your integrity you have to you have to see which method, methodological flaws are in your work so you have to firstly remove them even if they are not being even if you know that they are, they may not be i mean um, captured by the reviewers okay so then the search for the journal titles in the national library of medicine catalog in case of you know medical science uh, uh, journals for the journals referenced in the national center for biotechnology information database is for the medical journals the medical professionals and check whether the journal is listed in the doaj kya wo doaj mein this is not the only criteria i mean it may be or it may not be but still it is i mean it is uh, i mean a good good indicator so if it is a listed in the directory of open access journal to check whether the policies and procedures are transparently listed uh, in the journal's website because i already told you that uh, in the journals in the website there should be all the terms and conditions everything should be mentioned clearly there you know transparency should be there kya rahega agar author ko cost deni hai kaise deni hai uh, i mean processing charges hai agar kitna hoga everything should be i mean clear then check whether the policies and procedures are uh, okay sorry clearly mentioned then consider reading art articles in the journals before submitting as i told you earlier also jab aap kisi bhi journal mein paper publish karne jate hain to sabse pehle us journals ke jo purane volumes hain usme just go just go and read those particular some some articles of your interest maybe 2 3 4 5 or you can see uh, i mean 2 3 issues and uh, you know, from those issues you just read the papers from that i at, at least you will be able to judge the standard the level of that particular job and you you may be able to then understand that okay uh, the job, the paper is good and uh, it has been properly edited it has been properly reviewed on that basis you can select them then look for the grammatical and spelling errors poor quality signs shoddy maintained websites all these things okay you need to see whether there are any gram grammatical man grammatical errors or spelling errors mean that means they have not been properly checked that means they have been published in haste and when they have been published in haste that means 
the germ there is no uh, i mean uh, there is no proper uh, uh, reviewer team okay so that means you need to see if the papers are properly checked in the journal on the journal side there is no spelling mistakes that means the, the journal has been uh, um, the journal has been i mean um, brought after a lot of i mean efforts and the team is engaged in the proper uh, maintenance and uh, bringing out good journals so even in case of these um, predictive journals there is lot of confusion sometimes because there is no exactly i i told you in the um, starting also exactly you can't say okay sometimes one says it is predatory other says it is not predatory so you have to judge your i mean mental you have to judge your reasoning power you have to see okay what what is there what is this so many factors are there at least which factors suits which which factor is not related to this whether you can consider it a predatory or not they say that there is so many i mean sometimes you know uh, confusion sometimes you can see here from this particular suspected predatory journal then legitimate journals there are suspected predatory journals even the, the bells it has list it has listed some journals which have been criticized it it has said okay it is a predatory journal but it has been criticized by some they say okay no this is not a predatory journal Okay, so that you have to see to it. Some are this, this is unverified. Some are, I mean, in confusion. So then, where to where to get your material published? That uh, everybody knows now that uh, UGC care list journals. Okay, then group one journals around qualified pre UGC care pro protocols. Then journal indexed in globally recognized database. Maybe that is Scopus or Clarivate Analytics Web of Science. Is it not? तो इसमें आपको दो चीजें बेसिकली हम जब आजकल हम सबमिट करते हैं अपनी प्रमोशन के लिए कहीं भी तो वट दे सी वेदर इट इज इन यूजीसी केयर लिस्ट और यू नो दैट इज इन पब्लिश द जर्नल विच आर इंडेक्सड इन द डाटा बेस इज लाइक क्लैरिट एनालिटिक्स वेब ऑफ साइंस और स्कोपर्स सो यूजीसी केयर लिस्ट डेफिनेटली यू कैन सी इट ऑन द वेबसाइट ओके यू कैन सी द होल लिस्ट ऑफ यूजीसी केयर लिस्ट जर्नल फ्रॉम देयर यू कैन Select the particular journal which is in the UGC care list. Uh, then again, the uh, if it is uh, indexed in the Clarivate or Scopus, again you see the this uh, web sub web of science. It is very, I mean, most trusted publisher independent global citation database. It is guided by the this Eugene Garfield. You know it. So over nine thousand leading academic academic workers and government institution and millions of researchers. You know we trust web of science because web of science is a very trusted publishers database so here you can see that in the uh, web of science there is core collection that is emerging source citation index science citation index expanded social science arts and humanities conference proceedings book citation index and here you can see here in different languages uh, you can see so this is web of science so it may uh, core collection coverage then in, in science citation index uh i have given this data just you can see here near about 15000 major journals across uh, 150 disciplines then in case of social sciences uh, uh, near about 5000 journals uh, from 55 social science disciplines okay then arts and humanities and about 2500 journals And again, as well as selected items from scientific and technical social journals, you can see here. Then conference proceeding citation. It can it indexes uh, uh, near about. Uh, it contains near about two lakh twenty seven thousand conference proceedings, uh, with seventy million cited references uh, from nineteen ninety two till till now. So this conference proceeding citation is a part of Web Science Core Collection. So that means Web of Science is a very very uh, I mean. a comprehensive database so you can consult it while getting your you can see to it before publishing your paper then book citation index that is from 2005 to the present near about 60000 selected books in science social science and humanities and about 10000 new books are added every year in this uh, web site from 2023 the, the, you know that jcr that is journal of citation report the journal impact factor will be expanded to all web of science core collection journals including arts and humanities pehle ye nahi tha into 2023 it has been added 
So they will release this, uh, Clarivet will release this general citation report. So here, this is science citation index, social science, then arts and humanities citation index, it has been included here. Then it's multiple uh, uh, disciplinary emerging social citation index also. So this is very useful. Uh, this is what about uh, the data you can see that among these 9,000 journals from more than 300 publishers, many of them are smaller publishers. We have the GIF for the first time. Again, this is this is the latest, I mean, in data you can see here. And 8% there will be increase in the gold open access journals, which will have the GIF for the first time, general impact factor. So they uh, very useful information. And 5% increase in the journals from the global south, which will have the general impact factors. Okay. So you can see here, I think uh, all of you must be knowing that how you can search this web of science. If you search this web of science, just use this uh, Clarivate web of science. You can see the master journal list. You can see here. You can see here the web of collection. So uh, science citation index, uh, social science, then arts and humanities, emerging science, uh, source uh, citation index, then JCR. And here you can download it and see which journals are there, which, which journals are indexed in here. And from here, you can see, uh, if you want to search the databases, you can see search all databases or core collection or accordingly, you can go here. And here you can, I mean, type, you can browse and search the journal. See here, you can type here, you can search the journal from here. Or one, one important factor here is, yeah, you can, you know, if you, if you are going to write something or if you have written something, but you are just not sure where to get it published, you can just publish the title or you can, I mean, you can just write this abstract also. Here you can write the abstract. So you will find the journal. You can write the title or you can write the, put here the abstract and here you can find the journal. You will find the list of journals which are indexed in Web of Science and you, you from that you can choose. Okay, I will, I would like to publish in, uh, they will provide you the list, maybe 10 or 20 or 30. From that, you can choose uh, the, the uh, and that will be totally related to your area. This area may apne apne apna kam kiya hai, this may apne apna title likha hai, search likha hai, paper likha hai. Usko ap yapa title daloge, yapa thoda abstract daloge to apko list of journals as I jo, maybe may good journals, okay, because they're indexed in web of science. So this is what about, that is manuscript matcher. Here you can see this is service by the web of science. Because it is a, it's a very, uh, very important question. You know? It's a very important question where to publish. But, uh, you know, sometimes it's, uh, we are not sure where to publish it. The, the, the question is that. Okay. So this is very helpful in that way. You can see here, I, I have just given one example here. This, this is money, manuscript matcher search result. I have just written here the title. See, this is the scientific research productivity. And I have given this abstract. So here, this, the, the, name, the, name, the names of the journals have come like this. This is the list. Here they found 30 results. Okay? And you can see here. If you just, uh, I mean, you go there, you will uh, find these 30 results. So you can search the web uh, of science core collection, basic research, cited reference search, advanced research. कितने years का आपने देखना है कहां से कहां तक देखना है all i mean search results are there okay so this is web of science uh, nowadays this is very very important um, i mean uh, database from here you can decide where to uh, publish it how to publish it hai na aur kis area mein coast kaun se journal mein aapko publish karna hai so very important thing is there so the question again comes, you have decided you, um, after, after going through a lot of literature, because publication, yani I mean publishing your research, this is your research, okay? Publishing your research is very, very important. Even, uh, agar aap, I don't know whether you know it or not, publish or perish, that is POP. Yeah, I have just shown, shown it here. It is a kind of Google Scholar and MSC client also initially. It was written for Windows. But now it can be used for Linux and Mac users. So it is a using free indexing services like Google Scholar and MSO. POP taps Google Scholar data by default. But now it can also tap Microsoft academic data also. 
And you can also enter your queries based on authors, publishers, and keywords. So this is publish or perish. This is I have given this. I mean, link also. यहाँ पे जाके भी आप अपना चेक कर सकते हैं कि कहाँ पे आपको where where should you publish your material. So the question is, uh, the evolution क्या है कि you okay? There is no other option. You need to publish. पब्लिश नहीं करेंगे तो कुछ भी नहीं नो नो मतलब आपको प्रमोशन इज ओके आपका रिकोगशन है आपके सेटिस्फेक्शन है है ना पब्लिशन पब्लिशिंग इज मस्ट सो इफ यू डोंट पब्लिश आई मीन पब्लिश और पेरिश इफ यू डोंट पब्लिश आई मीन वट वट विल हैपन नो पब्लिकेशन यू विल पेरिश पब्लिश नहीं करेंगे तो यू विल पेरिश देन द क्वेश्चन कम पब्लिश इन वेयर पब्लिश तो करना है बट कहा पब्लिश इन हाई इम्पैक्ट फैक्टर जर्नल्स है ना अगर आप पब्लिक हाई इंपैक्ट फैक्टर जर्नल्स में नहीं करेंगे तब भी यू विल पेरिश आई मीन इफ यू आर गोइंग टू जस्ट पब्लिशिंग इन द प्रोडक्टिव जर्नल्स विदाउट गोइंग इनटू गोइंग थ्रू द डिटेल्स एंड नथिंग देन अगेन यू विल आई मीन पेरिश देन द क्वेश्चन कम्स यू हैव यू यू ओके यू हैव स्टार्टेड पब्लिशिंग इन हाई इंपैक्ट फैक्टर जर्नल्स गुड थिंग देन द पब्लिश फ्रीक्वेंटली द वर्ड हियर इज फ्रीक्वेंटली दैट इज पब्लिश फ्रीक्वेंटली इन हाई इंपैक्ट जर्नल्स एंड मे बी यू वोंट पेरिश अगर आप इसको फ्रीक्वेंटली करते रहेंगे करते रहेंगे तो हो सकता है फिर आप यू विल नॉट यू मे नॉट पेरिश बिकॉज पेरिश हेयर मीन्स यू मे बी यू वॉन्ट पेरिश बट डज इट मीन इट मीन्स इफ यू हैव बीन थोरोली पब्लिशिंग यूर मटीरियल पब्लिशिंग यूर रिसर्च इन द हाई इम्पैक्ट जर्नल इवन आफ्टर यूर डेथ आई मीन यू मे नॉट पेरिश यू विल बी रिमेम्बर्ड बाई ऑल फॉर एवर है ना कुछ हम पब्लिकेशन अभी भी देखते हैं कुछ ऐसी पब्लिकेशन है जिनको हम आई मीन अब सपोज रंगानाथन है ऐसा रंगानाथन है है ना अब उनका प्रोली घूमना है वो हम अभी भी पढ़ते हैं दैट मी रंगानाथन इज नॉट डेड वी आर रीडिंग इट वी आर वी आर आई मीन रिमेम्बरिंग हिम एवरी डे सो इफ यू पब्लिश फ्रीक्वेंटली इन हाई इम्पैक्ट जर्नल एंड मे बी यू वॉन्ट पेरिश बिकॉज मे बी यू वॉन्ट पेरिश मे बी यू विल बी रिमेम्बर्ड फॉर फॉर एवर बाई ऑल सो दिस इज द एज वी आर आई मीन Uh, you need to think about it it's very crucial matter publication of material in i mean academic publication in good journals that is a matter of i thinking so you have to think then you have to check and then you need to submit because you have put your hard labor you have put your hard work here uh, but if you are not getting it published in good good i mean uh, good journals then uh, it may it may not be of use okay so you have to think about it so the i think um, um, i have said enough so um, i am seriously uh, thankful to all the authors of these sources where i have used this presentation i have tried to i mean provide the links wherever and some of the slides have been used in my earlier presentation also i have no objection if used by others so these are some references so uh, thanks for uh, listening and uh, thank you so much लेक्चर and uh, now we have some uh, i am check the their questions and all madam uh, please you uh, stop the presentation yeah sure sure, sure. then we have a big screen and we yeah yeah sure sure, sure sure yes yes yeah, yeah. so yes. now uh, yeah. uh, i am taking up the questions uh, yes. one uh, vijaya lakshmi he is asking uh, dear madam would you kindly highlight the relevance of citation and how H index and I T index is are calculated. Okay, ah, uh, madam, uh, who is there? Ah, uh, Vijaya Lakshmi. Acha, okay, Vijaya Lakshmi. Yes, citation. Uh, you know the the, the formula is are there to calculate the impact factor, to calculate the H index, and to calculate the ah uh, whatever whatever you have said. Have you said? Have you checked it? Yeah, I T index. Yeah, so there is a particular formula from which uh, the I mean when you just uh, give this here, particular formula is there, and on that basis you can uh, the H index is get calculated. So the citation is very important these days, as you can see on your Google Scholar 
and you create your researcher id you create create your orchid everywhere the citation sector i mean manoji aapka piche aaya tha ki aapne kitne cover cross kar liye hai points उट योर पर्टिकुलर पेपर क्वालिटी ओके सपोज योर एच इंडेक्स इज टेन मीन्स आउट ऑफ योर सपोज यू पब्लिश हंड्रेड पेपर एंड योर एच इंडेक्स इज टेन मीन्स your out of 100 minimum 10 paper have minimum 10 citations minimum 10 yes okay yes. and i10 index uh, say how many paper you have minimum 10 citations h mm -hmm. index the number of h index always we present the number of the paper that value so whatever the value means that is cited minimum that time yes, yes. h index how many paper cited minimum 10 time okay so this is the things uh, but what more important h index are actually both there are the different different parameter we cannot say no your right hand is important or left hand is important, uh, important. okay we are like me the thing is that ki this is the different parameters in the academia people are measuring your impact on different different parameters okay now g index m index now many index are there actually nowadays many new index uh, indexing system came to measure the author productivity or the quality of the author so h index means it give the profile out of the uh, your number of the paper you publish how many paper have minimum that much publications okay and the i10 index it is a quality of a paper out of the paper uh, out of suppose i have 100 paper so how many paper have minimum how much citation minimum 10 citation uh, i10 they make the minimum benchmark 10 benchmark 10 so how many paper we uh, was cited minimum 10 time that is your i index okay so uh, these things now uh, yeah i think madam disconnected somehow i think madam disconnected so let let wait for the madam yeah your participant madam is uh, joining again actually some power cut so power uh, wifi suddenly off then she was disconnected she is now trying to join by mobile to so wait one minute and uh, santanu goes uh, one participant uh, he is asking no he is asking madam actually but uh, this is my area of specialization so to i think uh, if vakandu uh, sir allow i can reply this uh, type of the things yes 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 meanwhile uh, madam is joining better you answer this yeah, yeah. so uh, santanu you are asking no difference between uh, uh, scie and uh, non scie journals actually uh, sci actually it is a science citation index but 
few uh, years back yeah 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 madam now my, now madam is joining so few years back actually what happened the sci they have included one new feature that is science citation index extended extended extended, okay. yeah. extended. so that feature supports a new journals now it is not listed in the sci and now he want to uh, connect with sci uh, listed in the sci he will apply so few years in the beginning few years he will be in the part of the extended list only okay means extended means one list is there and one extended list is there so within 2 3 years they will check the the parameters of the quality by the uh, science citation index people uh, web of science people and when they maintain that journal maintain the quality continuously they will shift to the science citation index main list okay and as you ask the either it is necessary to publish always it is publish it is a very much required to publish our research in the good journal only sci means no one can question because for a journals it is not easy to list in the sci journals okay so uh, it is always preferred if you can publish in the scopus or web of science it is always for your all the academic activity it will be counted permanently okay so now madam join so madam uh, now one question why they already i answered so uh, in the last um, i just want to pay our sincere thanks on the behalf of the hrdc mizoram university and uh, department of library science on behalf of the professor bhadendu singh and whole mizoram university uh, for your um, uh, very informative and the useful lecture for all of us and uh, many insight even we have the working professional but many points still uh, it is good for new for me and uh, new for us also to learn uh, because uh, uh, no one can know each and every point by your lecture we also learn uh, many things so with this thank you so much madam for your presence and your valuable time and sharing your rich experience madam. thank you so much thank you manoj ji thank you and uh, sorry for inconvenience actually uh, here weather is not good and because of some uh, uh, raining and this uh, electricity the, my laptop started wi fi that is so a limitation now, of yeah now now i joined through my mobile only yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. okay yeah thank you so, so much madam yeah we completed madam and very soon my office will contact you for the official procedure yeah, 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 yeah. thank you so 